let's do some composition of functions. We've got um, f of x is 4x squared plus 6, and g of x is 2x. First of all, this notation with this little circle here means f composed with g, but I rewrite that as f of g of x. So what we're doing is we're giving our function a brand new input, and that input happens to be g of x. So we need to apply the function f with g as the input. So what does our function f do? f takes four times whatever we give it, it squares it, and then it adds a six. Well, I am giving my function g of x, which happens to be 2x. So my new input is a 2x. So I've got 4 times 2x squared plus 6. Let's go ahead and do the algebra here. So that's going to be 4 times. If I do the 2x squared, I can square the 2 and I get 4. I square the x and I get x squared plus a 6. And we end up with 16x squared plus 6. So for example number 2, let's do g composed with f of x. So this time I'm going to apply the function g and f of x is going to be my input. So I can put f of x right here. Well, what does g do? Well, g takes whatever we give it and it's going to multiply it by 2. So g is 2 times whatever that input happens to be and my input is f of x. f of x, that's going to be a 4 x squared plus 6. To finish this one off, I've got to distribute that 2. 2 times 4x squared, 2 times the 4 is 8x squared, 2 times the 6 is 12, so plus 12, and there is my answer. Let's keep going. Continuing with these two functions, I want to do g composed with g of x. So I really want to apply g twice. g multiplies stuff by 2. So I'm going to do g of g of x. I can even start to do some substitution here. I know that this input g of x can get replaced with a 2x. So I can rewrite this as g of 2x. Okay, so what does g do? g takes whatever we give it and it multiplies it by a 2. So this is going to be 2 times my input, that's what g does, but my input is 2x. So it's going to be 2 times 2x and I end up with 4x. Now think about this answer. It makes so much sense. g multiplies stuff by 2. I'm applying g not one time, but two times. So I'm not multiplying by 2, but I'm multiplying by 2 times 2, which is 4. Let's do one more with this pair. For number 4, let's go ahead and do a composition at a number. So let's do f composed with g of 3. Okay, so I know that this is going to be rewritten as f of g of 3. I'm going to write this in blue, g of 3. Well, I can figure out what g of 3 is, right? I know that g of x is 2 times whatever my number is, so I know that g of 3 is equal to 2 times 3, so 2 times 3 is equal to 6. So I can rewrite my composition here. This is going to be f of g of 3, but I just found out that g of 3 is equal to 6. 6. Okay, now all I've got left to do is to apply my function f. So let's go back up to the rule for f. f takes whatever you give it, it's going to square it, multiply it by a 4, and then add a 6. So it's going to be 4 times my input squared plus a 6, and my input is a 6. Okay, so doing the math here, what do we get? This becomes 4 times 6 squared, so 4 times 36 plus a 6. 4 times 36, I may have cheated a little bit and I did that ahead of time, is 144 plus 6. That one I can do in my head and I end up with 150. 
So I've got a new set of functions, but let's go ahead and start this exactly like we did with the last pair, and let's do f composed with g of x. Now, if you're feeling good about these, pause the video and see if you can get to this answer, or you can follow along with me. Now, if I'm doing f composed with g of f, that means that I need f of g of x. So I can go ahead and start doing some substitution here. I can replace g of x with what it is. So this becomes f of g of x, that's 2x plus 1, x plus 1. This is my brand new inputs. And what does my function f do? It takes my input and it squares it, so input squared, and then it subtracts the input minus the input. Okay, what are we putting into f? We are putting in a 2x plus 1 and a 2x plus 1. Okay, now we've got a little bit of algebra to do. I'm squaring the first 2x plus 1, so I've got to multiply it by itself. We're going to end up foiling that. So I've got 2x plus 1 times 2x plus 1, but the second part's pretty easy. Let's just distribute that negative sign, minus 2x and then minus 1. Foiling, we end up with 2x times 2x, that's going to be 4x squared plus 2x plus another 2x, that's going to be plus 4x, and then 1 times 1 is 1. I still on the outside have minus 2x minus 1. Combining my like terms, there are no other x squared, so I end up with 4x squared, but we can do 4x minus 2x, that's going to be plus 2x, and my 1's cancel, plus 1 minus 1, so this is my answer. For the second one, let's evaluate it at a point. So let's do g composed with f of 2. So I know as I'm rewriting this, I've got g on the outside. On the inside, I need to evaluate f of 2. I'm going to write that in yellow. So that's going to be an f of 2. Okay, let's go ahead and evaluate f of 2. Using my rule, it's going to be x squared minus x. So it's going to be 2 squared minus 2. That is 4 minus 2 or 2. Let's put that back inside of our function. So we get g of 2. And now I'm completely done with my function f, and I can go ahead and apply my function g. g does 2 times the input plus 1. Well, my input this time is that 2. So I end up with 2 times 2 plus 1. That's going to be 4 plus 1 or 5. So our answer for this one is 5. Let's just do one more, number three. You are getting this. For this last one, let's do g composed with g of 1. So I'm going to rewrite this as g of g of 1. I'm working this parentheses inside out, so I'm going to focus on the g of 1 first. Well, what does g do? g takes 2 times the input, so 2 times 1 plus 1. So that's going to be uh, 2 plus 1, which is equal to 3. So I'm finished with what's on the inside, so now I've got to evaluate g of 3. So I'm going to apply g again. g is 2 times the input, so 2 times the input plus 1. That's going to be 2 times 3 plus 1. 6 plus 1 is 7, and that's our answer. You are doing so great. The next video is going to show you how to do compositions with tables. Take a look at that one, and thank you so much for watching.